Merch Jaffer here with Josh, the runner-up of Big Brother Canada Season 10. I am sure you are sick of answering the question, but why did you choose to evict <laughs> Betty? Oh, this is never going to get old. I decided to evict Betty probably. Be, I was thinking about it a few days before it was brewing in my mind. Kevin had planted a seed that if I took Betty, I would have lost the game because she's fought so hard. She has more competition wins than him. She has more people that in jury that would advocate for her. Uh, and being a woman too, having a woman winner was important to some people. So I was like, I would probably have a lower chance winning against Betty than against Kevin because I thought Many people in jury didn't have strong connections with Kevin, didn't know his game. Little did I know him and Helena have been working together since day two and that everyone in jury was already bitter because I had burned so many bridges. I think the happiest person in the world when you invicted Betty was like Marty, because finally now people are going to stop talking about the gummy bears because uh, this is now the new moment. Um, can you outline your relationship with Betty? You went from being her closest ally to nominating her during the triple eviction to ultimately sending her home. I don't know if I'd want you to be my friend. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> so, so with Betty, um, she was always my closest ally in the game. When it came to the triple eviction, I was really trying to make everyone happy. Um, and the only way to do that was to put up Betty at the time because I was still working with Kevin and Helena. So I knew if I put Helena on the block, there's a good chance she would go home. If I put up Kevin, I had already promised him two days before that I wouldn't because uh, I didn't want to burn that bridge with him and keep him in the game. So the only thing I could do is put up Betty and I knew that we had the votes to keep her. So I thought it would be fine. How loyal were you to the crash test dummies? I was riding for them so hard. And then when I found out in the final five that they really wanted to see me go, that's when I kind of things switched my mind that I couldn't have that blind loyalty to them anymore. And they really didn't have my back. Uh, so that's kind of why I decided to throw, to fake the HOH competition throw to them, which I never did. And I ended up winning that. Um, and then when it came to finale, I was just like, you know, with Kevin, um, I think I'll just have a better chance. Can you take me back to the triple eviction? That's when you showed your cards by not using the opportunity to take Kevin or Helena out. How yeah. tight were you like to them? Or like, what did you just know that at that point you were with them? Um, at that point, I knew I was going to have to make a decision between riding it out with Summer and Betty or riding it out with Helena and Kevin. And ultimately, it was fear that held me back because I thought that if I sent Helena or Kevin to jury, that they would just trash my name there. And they knew all of my secrets in the house because they knew my game more than anyone. Me and Betty had the closest personal relationship, but I had a closer game relationship with Kevin and Helena. Do you regret taking Summer out? I definitely regret taking Summer out as well because I think that if anyone was sitting next to Summer in final two, they probably had a really good chance of winning too. Um, and uh, Summer was never someone that would have taken me out in this game either. She's told me time and time again, she would have took me to final two as well. You outlined that your strategy when you won the, uh, the final four HOH was to keep Helena off the block, initially to argue that you had to fight to survive, but that she never had to. Don't you think the jury would have seen that as an example of effective gameplay since she was never really placed in danger? Well, with Helena, a lot of people in the house thought that she was a floater and she wasn't really doing much in the house. And so I thought if I kept her off the block, she never really had a chance to fight for it, that she would still be seen as that floater narrative. How do you feel about your jury performance when you compare it to Kevin's? Oh, my jury performance, that was not it. Uh, we really didn't do what we needed to do. And at the end of the day, I have really close personal relationships. And I think when you cut those, it hurts more than a game relationship. Uh, so that really carried into the jury house. During your HOH runs, you took out Summer and Betty. They seemed like your closest allies. When you look back, do you feel like winning those HOHs ultimately led to you not winning the game because you used them to take out people that appeared to be loyal to you? Absolutely. That was... That was it uh, each time. And the reason for that was just because I thought that um, Kevin and Helena really had my back the whole game. And I thought if they go to jury that they were just going to out me to everyone because they knew all my secrets. Uh, and uh, we're almost done. Uh, my final question is how influential was Kevin in getting you to pick him to take to the final two, if at all? Or do you just honestly believe it was just you thinking you could beat him? Like how much influence did he have? Kevin really didn't have that much influence. I really, truly really thought that I was just going to have it in the bag completely against Kevin. Um, do you think that Kevin won this game or did you lose this game? I'm a sore loser. I definitely think I lost this game. I think for a lot of the majority of the season, I was even one of the favorites to win. Um, and it was just really those HOHs that I won. It really showed my cards and I burned a lot of bridges with those. So I really, uh, in hindsight, probably wish I lost some of the competitions.
And last question, how, uh, how do you want Big Brother Canada fans to remember you? Uh, I hope well and hopefully not too sneaky. I, I am a good person, I promise. Um, but uh, there are some decisions that are questionable with this game that I made. Amazing. Josh, thank you so much. Thank you.